So iOS 18 has just came out officially and we are rocking iOS 17.7 on my iPhone XR. So it's worth it to compare, kind of see how these two iPhones are going to compare. They're both exactly the same type of phone. So let's go and see how they both kind of compare here. So all the apps are cleared out in the background. We're going to start off pretty basic. So let's go and do something like the Photos application. Three, two, one. And again, this is iOS 17.7. This is iOS 18 on the left side. Hopping out of here, phone calls, three, two, one. Okay, music, three, two, one. This is a little bit different, two different pops going on. Let's go and go to the App Store, three, two, one. And so far, I haven't really seen, okay, so that right there was a pretty big difference. And again, these are the exact same phones. So the fact that 17.7 .7 is showing a little bit of a, I guess, you know, a little bit more of a speed increase so far than iOS 18 is not that crazy of a thing. Camera 321, considering that this is the older one, this one has a lot more ways to kind of improve on. So not really too sure. Let's go and hop out of here. Settings 321. I think this one may have been faster on iOS 18. Hopping out of here. Let's go into some other applications. Let's go and do something like Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. And with this application, this game, I never really know what's going to happen here. So with this one, okay, they're both on downloading content. And I think iOS 18. So iOS 18 does look to be the faster one here. Again, there is a game mode now. So the game mode may have kicked in here a little bit, like to improve the speed or whatever. So that's going to be something interesting to test. I'm going to have to test a little bit further on. So when you have a game mode on and then you have a game mode off, what the differences could be. So it's weird that the applications were slower here, but on the actual game itself, the iOS 18 game on the iPhone 10 are actually ended up doing a little bit faster. There's some glitches here and there. So that's actually kind of interesting here, hopping out of these two. So we're going to Subway Surfers or whatever game, or game I have. Let's do Snapchat 321. A little bit of a delay on the iPhone on iOS 17.7 .7 again. So that one was a little bit different. Let's go and do something like Tank You, which I don't even have here. Let's go and do a different one. Let's do Stack. So why do I not have these games here? Let's do something else. Let's go and do something like iTunes Store 321. And again, iOS 18 is doing a better job here than the iPhone on iOS 17.7. Hopping out of these two, home, let's do shortcuts, 321. Okay, perfect. Again, iOS 18 is doing a decent job here, much better than I thought. Let's go and go back into the App Store. Let's go and click on the search bar down up here. Let's go and click on it twice. And let's go and search up for an application and download one. So let's go and try something like Jetpack Joyride, right? This is a pretty basic game for the most part. So as soon as we type it in, I'm sure we can find it here. And as soon as we type it here, we can go and find it here as well. So let's go and do Jetpack Joyride, right? Let's go and open it up on both. This one hasn't downloaded yet. This one has downloaded. I don't know what Apple ID I'm using here. So let's go and get it on both. So this one's going to ask me to install it. And let's go and click it on both. I would imagine 17.7 .7 is going to install it faster because I did just click on it here faster than this one. But it could be a difference here. Let's go and kind of see. So iOS 18 is kind of giving me this little glitch where it's not actually downloading it. So now it did download it so much time later. So I'm not really too sure what was going on in that particular situation. So this can take a few minutes. So let's go and hop out of these two. Let's go into contacts, three, two, one. Okay, kind of the same thing, not a big difference. Files, three, two, one. Okay, perfect. Let's go and click into our section here. Let's go and click back here. So basically the same thing here as well. Stocks, three, two, one. And between these two, I think 17.7 .7 may have been a little bit faster, but it was still very, very close. Books, 321. 17.7 .7 was the faster one here. So you can kind of get an idea that both of these are very, very similar. There's not really like too many big differences here for the most part. I would imagine if you're going from 17.7 .7 to 18 or vice versa, you're not really going to notice too many big differences. Like, yes, there's going to be some advantages of going up to iOS 18, but I don't think there's going to be a big, massive difference as far as I can tell. Even the RAM side, it's kind of looking to be about the same. So I will say, I think if whether you stay on 17.7 .7 or 18, the performance difference isn't going to be that big. And I think that's just kind of what ends up happening here for the most part. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Holden.